yes, which diseases have benefited from our work uh, in quantitative medicine at CPAP. Alzheimer's disease was the first, and that was actually not only the first for Alzheimer's disease, it was the first in the world. The first clinical trial simulator to uh, be put through that formal regulatory review process at both FDA and EMA and get a formal regulatory endorsement. So Alzheimer's clearly benefited, uh, but we haven't stopped there in Alzheimer's disease. That was for a very specific stage of the disease continuum in, in Alzheimer's. We're working in even earlier stages of Alzheimer's disease to develop the same kinds of clinical trial simulators. But also Parkinson's disease has benefited. Uh, we're also developing uh, similar equivalent models for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Uh, we're just getting started with models for Huntington's disease. Tuberculosis has also benefited from, from the work that we do, as well as type 1 diabetes and kidney transplantation, not to mention polycystic kidney disease.